Hello again. Um, I'm just going to do a quick uh, review of how the battery has performed on its first full day of use. Uh, now this device has quite a large battery in it, uh, the Samsung uh, Galaxy S7 Edge. Um, and uh, I have had this on for over 12 hours now and we still have 30% of the battery left. And I have not skimped on using this phone at all today. It's not been plugged in at all. I'm going to show you the battery uh, status monitor in a second. Despite having the always on display uh, on, uh, as you can see uh, as well, uh, the phone was used for some quite intensive work. It's been used for playing a game called Ingress for half an hour. It's had the GPS, the Wi-Fi and the mobile signal on all day. It's been used to upload quite a lot of data, take some photographs in the park for a photo review, which is already on YouTube. Um, and some video. It's been used for all my emails, uh, web browsing, uh, sending some text messages, making a couple of phone calls, so and playing some music as well for half an hour. So it's actually had a, a very good shakedown today and it's still sitting there with 30% power and no power saving used at all. So without any further ado, let's go and have a look at the battery status. So we click on the battery and uh, we have four hours remaining, it says, it estimates, and we've been on for, you see there's no power saving switched on at all. And we've been on here for 12 and a, half, 12 and a quarter hours. And I'm just gonna take you through uh, the different uh, sections here to show you what's been using the battery and how long it's been using it for. So we have the screen on for two hours and 50 minutes. Um, Android OS, CPU and stay awake times. I don't know if you can see that clearly, I hope you can. I'll just zoom in for you. If you're watching on a phone, well, you won't be able to see too clearly, but if you're watching on a computer, then you will. That's why I film in the landscape format always. Okay, the game Ingress, which uses GPS, CPU, mobile data, um, etc. Very heavy usage game, that. Um, that has uh, been on for half an hour. Although it's had the GPS on for one and a half hours, apparently. Google Play services. I did leave an awful lot of apps on by mistake, although uh, Marshmallow is supposed to switch off uh, or sleep, deep sleep apps that you're not using. But I'm just showing you what, what the phone has used. Uh, 44 minutes of CPU total time just for the operating system. OneDrive um, has run for an hour. A lot of data uploaded by Wi-Fi. Phone standby, I used a very small amount of battery that. Camera, nearly eight minutes of camera time. It didn't use a lot of power either actually, only 79 milliamps. So you can see it's plenty good enough to last the average user easily a day and have plenty of power to spare. And if you were to put this in power saving mode and not have the screen on all the time, which I have today, then it would certainly manage a good day and a half, possibly even two days without being able to plug in. Hello, here we are on day two of the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge battery test. Now, uh, the phone has been on since uh, eight o'clock this morning, so it's had 12 hours running. And um, here's the graph of battery usage. Let's just zoom in on that for you a bit. So um, the very steepest part of the graph here uh, was an extended camera test in bright weather, which had the screen up at a very high brightness indeed. So you can see we've been running uh, without charging for 12, almost 12 and a half hours now. Um, I have given the phone a thorough shakedown today. Uh, the screen has been on for nearly four hours. Don't know if you can see that there. Let's bring that down a bit. So the screen's been on for nearly four hours. Um, I had the camera running for half an hour. Uh, a lot of other bits and pieces on, as you can see. So it's done quite well, really, when you consider this would never be the normal use that I put the phone through in a day. Uh, it's actually survived 12 hours and it says it has a remaining um, two hours and 48 minutes to go. And if I were to put this on, uh, say, ultra power saving mode, having now got down to 20% battery, I'd have another six hours to go. So actually, uh, very good battery life on this. I'm quite impressed with that. An all day battery 
um, even when under heavy use, and still only the second full charge the phone has had. Of course, lithium batteries do improve with several charges, and the maximum capacity won't be reached until it's had about seven or eight charges. So another week or so, and I might be getting another hour or two out of the battery.